This has been going for ages and it's still just laying down the, the bed layer. I can see I have to modify my design so we don't have such a big bed layer before it even starts printing the item. I won't tell you what it is. I have to wait for that. I see a bit more of the shape now. I think I've made those bits too thick. Never mind. Well, it's finished. I thought it was going to be hours more. Although I have been working on my computer, so time may well have passed. Okay, well, we'll get that off and have a look at it. Well, there it is. Have you any idea what it might be? Hi guys. Picked this up in a charity shop. It's one of those things you're supposed to put in a book so that when they open the book, this flies out. Usually see them as butterflies. I actually made one myself a few years ago using some bent paper clips. One of my most popular videos, funnily enough. Um, it's also one that I have the most complaints on because I did it fast forwards because I had no intention of doing it as a build video. It was just a time lapse thing. So I had to go and revisit it and do it normal speed. Anyway, we'll have a quick look at this one if we can get it open. Tow bar. Flapping bats. Stuck on there with a bit of sticky tape. Yeah, so all you do is you wind it up. And then it's in a book, and when you open the book, it releases it. So if I just hold my hands, you won't be able to see where it goes if it does go anywhere because it will be out of camera range. Oh, <laughs> all right, maybe you will, because it didn't go anywhere. Let's try that again. They're not supposed to fly for miles. They're just that quick surprise shock. When you open the book, it flies out. Yeah, I think you get the general idea. Um, so I had a look on Thingiverse and Tinkercad to have a look at 3D printed ones because it's just a plastic frame, hook on that end and a bit that spins around on that end. And there are quite a few you can download and print out. I thought I'd have a go at designing my own. Now, I've gone rather over the top. It's going to be much too heavy. But it was just an experiment at uh, printing. In fact, it took us long to print the um, base, or whatever you call it, the bit that it puts onto the bed first. It took as long to print that as it did to print the rest of it. I'm going to have to get something under there to release it, aren't I? Oh, it's coming off. Okay, that's one. The idea is I'm going to glue fins on the bottom. Might be 
better if I use a knife or something to release that, I think. Just so I don't accidentally break it. The spit will probably come off okay. Yeah. Need to drill the holes through. I put holes there, but that's just to give me guidance for drilling. I'll need some paper clips or wire for the spinny bit. And then this is the propeller, which I had in mind that I would probably heat a little bit so I can actually bend it. Give us a bit of an airfoil shape. Just warm it up and twist it. So I was looking at ways of actually printing it twisted. And I thought, why don't we just print it flat and just warm it a bit? So that's what I'm going to try and do. off now easily. So yeah, glue that on there. I could have printed it all in one I suppose, but yeah, glue that on there. Propeller on there and see if it works. Well, I've warmed it a little bit and given it a bit of a twist. Probably not enough. Probably need to go quite a bit further, to be honest. But at least we'll be able to give it a little try anyway. I've drilled the holes through. I've got a little plastic bead there. So the idea is that's going to go down through there. And we can just Down, I think, there somewhere. I'll trim it off in a minute. Go through the bead. Through there. And obviously, we need a hook on there. Probably would have been better to put the hook on first, push that through, and then bend the edge over there. But we'll, we'll do it the wrong way around for now. Sort of bend it into a diamond shape. Well, you could bend it into a circle if you're accurate enough. That should do. Okay, so we can wind that up. Need a hook at the bottom. I could have formed the hook out of the plastic, but doing it this way. That's what I should have done at that end. Push that down through. Hole. Come on 
here we go. So that should hold our rubber band. Uh, I wasn't thinking of using this one, it's a bit small. But we'll put it on there just so we can get an idea. So that goes on there. That goes on there. And wind it up that way around. I think this is much too heavy. I've printed it too thick. But this is just to give us an idea. So that's the general idea. glue these on as well. They should help to stabilise it a bit. Well, that's the finished article. It's way too heavy. But this was just a, what do we call it? Proof of concept, just to try it out, see if I could actually design something and what sort of components we'd need to make. So the, this part's too heavy and my idea of just melting the propellers and ah, <laughs> you obviously need a better rubber band than that one too, never mind. Um, yeah, my idea of bending that propeller, I, th I could probably still bend it more, but I don't think we've got anything like enough pitch there to lift it. I've put double rubber bands on it and I've twisted the propeller as far as I can. Oh, it did go up that time. Uh, camera probably didn't catch it though. propeller is rubbish. I really should have taken the time to actually build the pitch into it and it's eating rubber bands ever so quickly because these are cheap uh, silicon rubber bands from Pangland. But uh, yeah we're getting a flight. It's going up or it's going that way. That'll do. For Mark 1, it works. But Mark 2 or Mark 3 needs a lot of improvement. Thanks for watching. You'll find more information down in the video description. You might like to watch that video up there. And you might like to subscribe over there.